Hello, everybody. So I'll show up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just have a, have a discussion here. So uh, welcome back from spring break, everybody. Uh, this is basically Thursday, April 9th, 2020. And this would be the lecture that you came back from after um, after your spring break. So hopefully you guys had a good a good spring break. I'm, I see that there's people starting to sign on. Uh, hope you guys are safe. I uh, hope you guys uh, didn't kept your social distance and all that and and uh, and maybe you didn't contract the uh, the coronavirus. Hey, good. Thanks. This uh, this Mohammed. How's it going? Um, so we're, yeah, hopefully you guys are safe. Hopefully you guys had a restful break. Um, I don't know, you know, you couldn't have gone to the beach or anything. So, but hopefully again, you got your mind off of the school for a little bit. Uh, so you can see in the back, I have the computer in case we have to refer to it. I don't know how this is gonna look. It's already starting to look like it's not really coming out. The detail's not too good, but, um, we don't have to use it. This is just in case we need to we need to use it. Okay, I'm glad glad you're you're doing good. So um, I don't want to keep you guys too too late, um, but we do have an exam next week on April 16th. So that's uh, seven days from today. We'll have uh, or the exam. I'm just looking at the uh, my computer. But it's going to be on. Uh, so I have to think back. The last three homework sets. The last one was boundary layer. Um, second to the last was neighbor Stokes homework, and then the, the third to the last was was Reynolds transport. So those were the subjects that we that we went over since the last exam. So again, Reynolds transport. Um, I believe Reynolds Transport. So if I was, um, I think that's homework set four. And then homework set five is um, should be Never Stokes, and homework set homework set six should be Boundary Layer. Uh, so I'm not sure if you guys can see. Maybe you can see while I'm. Really not 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 too clear. Okay, but. Um, if I was going to go just to just look at homework set four, I th well, actually, I don't have homework set four posted on Beach on Beachport. That's actually right before we went, um, but I do have the the solutions. Homework set four solutions. So it's basically these last uh, these last three solutions. So the solutions to homework set four should be Reynolds Transport. And let's go take a quick look. Homework solution chapter four. Uh, fluid kinematics. Anyway, it's looking it's looking familiar, but it's um it's these last or these last three homework sets that we did. Now I just put a solution. I just put um. I just posted uh, homework, a new homework, and so the homework is basically based on heat transfer, and that's our next subject that we're going to be talking about. And I just, this class, I recorded, um, right before this class, I recorded a lecture, and I'm going to post it on, on YouTube, and I'll, I'll put the link on, um, on Beachboard, okay? I'll put the link there to the YouTube, to the, to the lecture, to, it would have been today's lecture on heat transfer, okay? So, um, that was uh, that's going to go up uh, probably tomorrow. I'll put it up tomorrow. Uh, I don't want you guys worrying about that too much, um, unless you're doing the project. I know I got a few questions from emails on on the project already. If you're doing the project and you're not sure you're not sure how to estimate, for example, the temperature of air going over a hot surface, then this uh, this is lecture should help you out. Um, this is basically, um, it's based on how we merge fluid dynamics with heat transfer. You know, how, as engineers, how do we handle heat transfer? 
and fluid, how do we, we relate the two? And I, like I go over the, th the three main methods. And so uh, look out for that tomorrow, um, especially if you're doing the project and you want to get a jump on it and you, you want to know about how to do heat transfer. And if you're not, it's, it should be um, kind of a brush up from from the uh, heat transfer class 431 that you took. I'm not sure how 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 much focus your professor, but I'm sure I'm pretty sure you guys did convective heat transfer, and that's that's what this is. So I look out for that. I'm also going to do a tutorial on using flow solid, um, sorry, flow simulation from SolidWorks, and I was able to simulate flow going over the the respiration chamber for the the project for at least my idea flow going over hot surfaces and coming over cold surfaces. Now I haven't run the heat transfer yet. That'll be um, a next, maybe a next module that I do. Heat just set up is gonna be transferred. You need to have all those flow parameters correct. You have to have the fluid flowing in the right direction and coming out and all that has to make sense. So um, I, I'm gonna do the uh, tutorial on that. All right. Um, so unless you guys have any questions, I don't have, I just, again, we're going to be doing the homework on Reynolds Transport. Let me go look real quick to see if we have, um, since I have Beachport open, let's go look at the syllabus. All right. Uh, uh, regardless, you can kind of see I want to go right to the uh, to where we're at. We're, we're we're somewhere. Week eleven is when you guys went on spring break, so we're somewhere between eleven and twelve. I think actually we might be yeah between eleven and twelve, and so I already handed out the project, right? So the project is already there. It's it, it's um it's the challenge of coming up with a way to uh, to sterilize air. All right, um, maybe we can talk a little bit about the project if you guys wanted to, but I already have a video on that as our last YouTube. Um, let me see, sorry about that. <laughs> let me get let me get Mohammed's question here. Yeah, so 15-15-1C, um, 15-2C, 15 15 and 15-3C, uh, those are all, those those are basically text. That's from the textbook. And if you go up in your textbook, they're pretty straightforward. They're they're because um, fifteen uh, chapter fifteen covers computational fluid dynamics. And since we're not really this is in a CFD class, and I wanted to train you guys on SolidWorks uh, flow simulator, but that didn't happen um, again because of the shutdown. We have a high powered computer that can run SOLIDWORKS, for example. Um, but I am gonna expect you to have access to the, uh, the basically the free download code for SOLIDWORKS if you don't already have it. I just got it from Jamal. Um, and I'm also gonna post, so you're, for those of you that don't have laptops that are, or computers that are capable, that are powerful enough to run SOLIDWORKS simulation and the, the SOLIDWORKS um, environment, then he is allowing you to do, um, he has some access to computers that you can do remotely. And for those, again, you don't have to for this class, you don't, for solving the problems, you don't have to. Uh, it just depends on you. And some of you guys have access to other programs. Again, uh, one of our students mentioned there's a free, that uh, ANSYS is free, they have this free CFD program. And, uh, you know, so if you wanna look at our last video that we, we had, um, our, our student basically talks about that a little bit, or at least he chats about it. Um, and like, if you want to email me, if you want to know what that access is to the to the uh, ANSYS, I can forward you his email. So um, yeah, so to answer uh, Muhammad's questions is the um, is yeah, that's that's from our textbook. And fifteen uh, one C two C and three C are pretty straightforward problems. Again, they're just. They they ask you a question and then you you just you answer it. It's, it's um they're not ca they're not calculating type of questions. Now there is another problem I put for uh, it's fifteen dash four, and that is my own my own problem. I don't know if I have it here written down, but I, well we can go over it. 
since I do have access to uh, Beachboard here. So let's go over homework. And it's the last homework set. Uh, homeworks, hold on. All right, so there's the homeworks. And then I, I have this little problem here that, and if you, if you can't see that, I really apologize, but you can go to Beachboard and look at the problem. You can follow along with this video if you want later. But if you can see my cursor, um, here on the left-hand side, I have a box, right? So there's a box, it's hollow. It kind of, it'll fit on the palm of your hand and it has an inlet and an outlet. So it's a, it's a sealed box where we put fluid in and then fluid comes out the opening for the outlet. And so uh, the problem says, if you have flow coming into a box and then it comes out, how is, what's your prediction as how is it's gonna behave? Um, so there's, I threw out three possibilities here of, of the streamlines. First one is A, the second one is B, and the and third one is C. So A basically says that the flow comes in on the right-hand side, kind of swirls up and down, kind of like, actually this looks kind of like a, like a lady, like a woman, like a, she's her, with a head covering, and it comes down, right? Or does it have more of a, like it bounces off this wall and bounces off that wall, and then it goes straight and bounces off this wall. Does it have that kind of trajectory? Again, this is streamlines, right? This isn't saying every fluid particle is going to behave this way, but just kind of just taking a snapshot of the fluid particles. And then this last one says, well, the flow is going to come in here and just kind of turn around and then come out. So I'm going to make this a, a bonus problem because there is no way for you to, besides. So um, I bounced this off of an engineer and he he got the, the correct answer just by looking at it. So oh, that's going to be, and for this to really to do it right, you're going to need, um, you need to know the Reynolds number. I can tell you right now, it's in the turbulent regime, regime the Reynolds number is somewhere around 12,000. And, um, and the, the materials is, is uh, liquid. It's, it's, uh, it's fluid. It's, uh, it's water. So it's going to be, has some viscous component to it. Okay, so um, real quick, Mohammed mentioned 15-1 doesn't have C. Check that real quick. All right, because I, I want to just make that clear real quick. Um, sorry, I have the lights off here now so we can see the screen. 15 dash, let me just go right to the homework. All right. Uh, all right. Here we go. Yeah, if you go um, in our in our textbook, so you know our standard fluid mechanics fundamentals by uh, Sengel, If you go to page nine forty, you're going to see fifteen one C, fifteen two C, and fifteen three C. So I think that was your question. 15.1 doesn't have C, it just has a problem, no? Um, yeah, so it, it's just C, it's uh, C, which it means, you know, it's, again, it's no, no calculation. They're con they're, the C stands for conceptual or concept. So they're not a calc, it's basically asking you, uh, you know, just just questions. Um, they're pretty. It's it's pretty easy. Uh, okay, but if you do have any issues with it, you know, don't hesitate to ask. You can email me. But yeah, it's the it's the very first problems on page uh, nine forty, kind of towards the bottom. And the the subheading is fundamentals, grid generation, and boundary conditions. So there's three problems there. One uh, C, two C, and three C. Okay, I think I hopefully answer your your question there. Four C is this one on the board. Okay, and so this is a bonus problem. So anyone want to, if you guys, some of you didn't turn in the homeworks or something like that, you want to attack a bonus problem, I'll try to have bonus problems at, for every homework. Um, so what is it, A, B, or C? Who wants to guess? If anyone wants to guess, it'd be kind of fun to do this now. But it's, uh, again, um, this is an actual problem that I ran. I actually did this analysis 
thinking it would be different than when it actually was. And uh, I was actually surprised. And the person I asked knew right away, says, oh, yeah, you're going to get this edition. And you can actually, we, we put little bubbles in the stream. And hey, you're a smart guy. <laughs> I, f I forget how smart you are, Mohammed. All right. So um, anyway, so for those of you guys that are, that are watching the video, there's your bonus right there. There's your, um, but yeah. But anyway, I like what you could do is if you wanted to, you can you can run solid. Um, this would be a real easy problem to run on on solid on Flow Simulation SolidWorks because all it is is the box, it's an empty box with two holes in Simulation SolidWorks because all it is is the box, it's an empty box with two holes in it, and you run liquid through one or water through through it, and it comes out the the other hole, and you'll see the trajectory, you'll see the streamlines right away. So. Um, Really good. Good answer. Um, all right. So what I want to talk about is the exam. And again, they're going to be based off the homework. What I'm going to do is, is I promise you it's going to be a problem right out of the book. So just look at the problems. It's either going to be something real similar with different values or, or one of the adjacent problems in the book. And I'm um, thinking of giving you three problems. And I'm going to give you, um, I don't want them to be long. They have to be short because it is an exam. And uh, and I'm going to give you, it's a take home, obviously. And uh, I'm going to give you several days to do it. So I want it to be due Thursday. But I'm going to hand it out probably, I'll try to get it out to you latest Monday. I think I'm going to try Sunday, though. Okay. And you'll have uh, uh, basically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday up till seven o'clock to turn it in. Okay, so it's gonna be right off of the homework. If you guys have any questions on the homework, I think the solutions are all posted. Um, I think mo most of you guys turn in the homework. You'll be able to check it against your solution. If you got any problems, um, just let me know, okay? And we can go over it on a, on a you know, email. Um, we can do a Zoom if you guys want. I haven't used Zoom yet, but um, we can set, and I know how to use it. I use it more for my family type of things, but we can do that too. Uh, all right. So it's uh, what time is it now? It's only 19, 20 minutes into the into the discussion. So you guys had a chance to to ponder the problem. I think you guys have. So the um, the uh, so we're talking about the um, the the problem that I brought up last time. Um, I know I had an email from a few students. Let me see if I can go. It's the projects. Sorry, I keep calling it the pro problem. So, so the project problem. All right. So remember that um, it's basically, and I, I apologize that you're. Um, so I cr I actually pr I, I made this ten years ago. All right. So this isn't ten years ago. We were dealing with H one N. No, it was. H1N1, I'm thinking like H1B visas. Uh, so I'm sorry if I, H1N1, which was a different, um, right? It's a different virus at the time. And uh, the problem was that H, they believed that H1N1 was going to be uh, aerosolized. So uh, thankfully, I don't think COVID-19 is aerosolized, but um, swine flu, exactly. Thank you. But think about that, you know? Now there's been talks about, you know, hopefully you're keeping your social distance and, and um, but there's been talk about there's partial aerosol, aerosolization, I guess, of this. It is possible, in other words, to get it to float in the air and to stay in the air for, I don't know, how many seconds or something. Because the, um, what I read a little bit about the, the, um, the virus, it's 120 nanometers in diameter and, and, you know, pollen is like 90 nanometers. And so, you know, we know pollen can go into the air and kind of stay up there. Um, and then we breathe it and we start sneezing, right? So this is not too far from pollen. Um, and, you know, what if this thing, you know, you know, heaven forbid, but if this thing should mutate and, and become kind of an aerosol, then, then you know, this is a, then we're, everyone is going to get it, right? It's just no way around it. And so, um, you know, and if then. N95 masks aren't going to do a, a thing. 
So then this is the thing is, is this is just an idea. This is, doesn't mean it probably has no effect on the, on what we're doing today. It's much simpler just to put on a, a, a cloth mask and then, then actually have this respirator thing that keeps you, uh, keeps you from getting sick. But this would be the idea. If you wanted to go into an environment where everybody is sick, you can put this mask on. Obviously, you'd probably have to wear some goggles or something to keep your eyes from getting infected. And then, and here it is, right? You sterilize the air that you breathe. And so, um, you know, maybe there's there's use for this later, or if this this problem should should get worse if it be, if this particular virus aerosolizes. So again, uh, this was something I came up with ten years ago, and I figured this would be a nice nice opportunity for you guys to. Uh, to go ahead and work on something that makes, you know, that can have an impact. So um, anyway, I'm not going to go over this. I already talked about it, um, but I am going to model this on SolidWorks uh, flow simulation. And um, I haven't done that yet. This is the first time I'm doing it. I actually got part of it modeled already. And we'll be able to determine if any of these values are, are uh, make sense, you know. So, and if you guys have any of your own ideas, I know there's groups already forming i don't have any limit if everyone in this in the in our class wanted to form one group <laughs> by all means you know um i'll leave it up to you guys but that means that most of you guys aren't going to do the work and someone is going to have to do the work and, and um but if you can convince that person doing all the work to let you into their group that i have no problem with that so um if you i think you want to form big groups that's that's fine with me i'm not going to put a restriction on that okay all right. Anyone have any questions before we go? It's uh, 724. Um, obviously, so well, for the exam, I mean, feel free to type um, if you guys have any questions, but I'm going to talk about the exam. Um, I think we're done with, the, with this computer here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light so you guys can see me a little bit better. All right. All right. Um, so for the exam, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to post it on Beachboard. Look out for it either Sunday or Monday morning at the, at the latest. Okay. So look out for it. Um, I'll post it and it'll be due Thursday. I'll just make it by, by midnight. All right. Thursday midnight it'll be due. Um, and I'll just post it on Beachboard. You guys will download it, uh, fill it out, and then um, put it, deposit it inside of the um, the Dropbox. So I'll have a Dropbox folder for the for the exam. So simple as that, okay? And um, obviously, it's open notes, open everything. Um, I, it, it's not. I don't expect it to be that difficult. If you did, if you were able to do the homework. Um, then you should be able to do this, no problem. So you had a question on the Blasio solution for 10-97. Um, it's a good question. So this was for this was for the most the more recent one, right? For the boundary layer. Um, ah, okay. So first the Blasio solution. Um, why don't you uh, email me more specific question like where do you start or um, why don't we take take that offline? Um, sorry, I don't have your name here for the. I just have your three dot fourteen there for and one forty nine. So um, just let me know and I, your your image is too small to remember you by your face. But um, why don't you email me and I posted the solution, but you probably want more information on that and I can give you more information on that especially if there's a specific question you have uh, I don't some of these problems were pretty lengthy I'm not going to post I'm not going to make them that long you know they got to be kind of short and sweet um, but I'm not I, I was going to try to have uh, I, I don't really have this set up the way I wanted to, to to be able to do put problems on the board so I'm sorry about that um, but I can I can actually post if you want me to i can post a solution of a video of me doing the solution either way just just email me uh the next question is when is homework seven due okay homework seven is going to be due um uh, 
you know, I don't want it to get in the way of, so I'm going to make it do two weeks from today. Okay, so that would be 16th, the 23rd, I think August 23rd, if I'm correctly. I'm sorry, no, I say August, I mean April. So I'll make homework seven do April 23. So we got an exam April 16th. We'll make the homework do the, the, um, the basically week after the exam. All right, and then we don't have much time after that. After that, we just got maybe another one, two, three weeks, and then we're done, okay? So we're actually gonna be tailing off after the heat transfer homework set that you do. And if, you know, once I post the solutions, I think we cover one more one more topic and that's creeping flow or, or uh, low Reynolds number flow. And then that's it, and we're done. So, uh, you know, then we're just focusing on the project, which is 20% of your, grade um then i'd like to be able to to have a, a platform to be able to see some of the projects so we might do a zoom for that like on the last day of class to be you know someone to present present the projects uh, we'll see about that we'll see if we can get that going all right any other questions uh before we go i know i'm sorry about the the homework problem i'm not really ready to uh to solve that here um, but I, like I said, I can, I'll take a look at it. And if you want to email me uh, any specific questions, or I can just do a video of me solving it. But I may not even put that on the on the exam. You know, if it's too much work, it's probably if it's too long, I won't put it. Again, it's going to be uh, three three problems based on the homework right out of the book. I'm going to give you four days to do it. All right. Finals, yeah, um, good question. How are finals going to be handled? Um, yeah, obviously, I'm going to have to give you a take-home final. It's only going to be based on – the final could only be based on on two uh, – they could only be based on two sections, right? So the, the one of them I just posted the homework for is the heat transfer. Um, but even then, the homework is, is very vague. It doesn't – we don't really solve any problems. Um, so I might have to do a supplemental, um, homework for that so that we can have some material to be able to do the final. Um, I don't know. Let me think about, about that. Okay. Cause that, that, that may not, um, you know, maybe the final is, I don't know. Let me just think about that. All right. I'm not going to, obviously I can't hand it out on the last day of finals and then it's due later than that. It has to be something handed out earlier. And then, uh, Good question. I think by next, what we'll do is we'll have a, I'll do a, a if, if you guys have any, if you prefer to do Zoom, we can do Zoom. That way you guys can chime in and talk instead of chatting. Um, but what I'll do is, is from here on out, well, obviously we won't have a class this, we won't have a, 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 a live session on Thursday because you'll be handing in your exam. So um, I think we'll, I'm pretty sure we'll just skip next week because um, yeah, that way you could do your exam. I'm going to have it due Thursday night, Thursday by midnight. So um, for, so I think in two weeks from today, we'll, we'll start talking about the final, the project and the exam, the final exam. Okay. Cause those are the two things now that you're, uh, it's almost half of your grades going to be based on those two things, almost 40%. So we want to make sure that those are squared away. Um, I'm, I'm trying to make this simple. I know that it's, it's difficult right now and, and this, the format and everything that we are doing everything. So I don't, don't expect a very grueling final, um, but we got to have something. Okay. So in two weeks, I'll be more prepared to give you an answer on that. Okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, with that, unless there's any other questions that come up, um, thanks for attending. Thanks for joining. Um, hopefully everyone's able to access this or to be able to, to chime in. Um, and so, you know, I think this is a good format. At least it's more of like an informational, um, look out for the video. I did post a, a video then on how to, on, uh, for heat transfer, how to handle heat transfers. Again, I, I, I intended it more for helping you with your project. 
Um, I didn't so I didn't put any homework um, based on the video, but I might, you know, because I have to structure the final, right? So I might follow it up with a with another homework set that'll be due, you know, in a couple of weeks as well, um, just to be able to do some problems in heat transfer. Okay, all right. So so with that, again, look out for the heat transfer video coming out. I just recorded it right before class. And um, unless, again, unless there's any other questions, I'll let you guys go. Hopefully you guys are safe. Um, I, we're not gonna see each other anymore, I don't think, right? Until, so have a good rest, restful, basically stay at home situation. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna teach next semester. Uh, I'm getting questions from students. Um, the funny thing is I'll be teaching this. I'm scheduled to teach this next year. So uh, if you have any friends that are in the grad program, they're going to be around in a year. You want to tell them that they can take this class with me. And hopefully it's visual, it's face-to-face, -face, and it's going to be different, right? Because this one was kind of catered towards doing everything from from home and or from your house. And so I, it'll be in probably different format. All right, so you guys stay safe um, and good luck with the exam. I'm going to post it, like I said, at the latest Monday morning, not the, well, the, the um, exam number two. And then, uh, all right, all right, Mohammed, you, too, you, you stay safe, all right? Hope you guys are all all right. I'm, I'm good, man. I haven't left my house. All I do is I, I go shopping, so I shop for the family, so I leave once a week. And then I got the mask. I don't. I don't got the sterilizer. I wish I had the uh, sterilizer mask, but I just got the standard mask. The it makes me look like a bandit. Bandit. It's a black mask. So I just use that. And I wear gloves. But I'm good. You know, I don't ever leave. So <laughs> hope you guys are good. You guys. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys are staying safe. All right. Okay. Take care. We'll see you guys. Bye.